My first guest this evening. <laughs> Stop. It's a family show. You know, not a lot of people could get away with naming their HBO special Get That Puss Off Your Face. But then again, my first guest is not like a lot of other people. Say hello to Kevin Meany, everybody. Thank you. How are you, Kevin? Very good. Have a seat. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get that puss off your face. That's the name of the special. And a fine title it is. Get that puss off your face. I would tune in to see that. At my first, my I would... parents used to say that to me all the time. Uh, you know, so my mom used to say that really? to me, too. Really? Yeah. It's an expression a lot of people don't know about. When I was a kid, if I was walking around the house with a long face on, my mother would actually say to me, get that puss off your face. <laughs> walking around with the big puss on. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're not going to school with that puss on your face, mister. <laughs> I'd go to school, I'd ask my teacher, Sister Damien, do I have a big puss on my face? <laughs> get to the principal's office. But my mother said there's a puss on my face. Where's the puss? I want to know where it is. Talking about the puss in school. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Your brothers don't talk about the puss. <laughs> You're not going to summer camp this year, mister. <laughs> We're sending you on a pilgrimage to worship St. Arlene, Our Lady of the Bleeding Knees. I want to meet your mom someday. She's, she's at, at my house right now. She's out here yeah. in Los Angeles? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? My mom and my dad, they came out. I'm in day eight right now. <laughs> of, the, of the parental yeah. hostage yep. crisis? Yes, and... <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. What do you want to do today? <laughs> you know, they flew out, and the thing is, when I'm, they're back in New York, they call me all the time just to find out what time it is. <laughs> it's, they call up, it's, what time is it out there? It's three hours difference, Mom, work it out on paper. <laughs> you know? They call me all the time, what time is it? You know? You're probably on that cordless phone, aren't you? <laughs> Walking around without a cord. <laughs> when we were kids, we had cords. And we were happy. We were tethered to the base unit in the kitchen. <laughs> Mr. Hollywood with your cordless phones and your phone sex and your hot tubs. One of these days you're going to be having phone sex in that hot tub and you're going to be electrocuted just like your Uncle Phil. <laughs> Kevin, what do you do in your spare time when you're not working? Well, I guess I, uh, I work out. You know, I can see that. <laughs> They're laughing at the wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, you know, if you know me, you know I'm what you'd call an outdoorsman. You know. <laughs> Nothing I like better than spending a romantic weekend in the wilderness, you know, making love in a tent on a rubber air mattress in the rain. <laughs> Something about the smell of wet canvas and a soiled woman that really brings out the animal in me. <laughs> Oh. Have you actually gotten into working out at all? Have, have you, like, said, I'm going to go to the gym now? Because that happened, as soon as I moved out here, all of a sudden I joined a gym. I said, I got to do this. Everybody yeah. else is doing it. It's probably good for me. And I haven't actually ever been there since then. But you have the membership card. I think somewhere. Yeah. I, well, I, I, used to, I used to work out when I was a kid. I, I was always getting beat up when I was a kid. So I don't know why. I still can't figure that out. But my parents, they sent me on these, uh, they sent, they act, this is true, they sent me, to this uh, karate class, right? Yeah. And uh, it was real cheap karate class. It was, uh, well, it was weird. This, my karate instructor was this angry Al Jolson impersonator. <laughs> and I remember from my first lesson, he painted me in blackface and put me in a kimono <laughs> and made me do head kicks when the red, red robin goes bob, bob, bobbing along. <laughs> when the red, red robin goes bob, 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 bob. <laughs> <laughs> but he was accidentally killed at a Rotarian picnic. <laughs> he was performing his Al Jolson style karate when somebody hit him in the head with a red hot horseshoe. <laughs> that poor man was performing his Al Jolson style karate 
when somebody hit him in the head with a horseshoe. You're going to the wake, young man. All his students will be there. But I'm his only student, Bob. You put on that black face and kimono and show some respect for the dead. <laughs> Kevin, are you still seeing, uh, seeing your girlfriend? Is that, is that still happening? You no, were engaged uh, for a while there, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Is this uh, ugly? Am I sorry I brought this up? Well, let's just hope she doesn't get Comedy Central. <laughs> hey, what are the odds? So anyway. Uh, no, see, the thing is, I, I didn't, uh, I guess you can call it a breakup, but uh, she was killed. Oh, well, that's a good yeah. <laughs> Wasn't my fault. <laughs> you see, I bought her this raccoon coat, and she got hit with a car crossing the street. <laughs> Apparently, she froze when she saw the headlights. Uh, True story. Why do you buy them raccoon coats? <laughs> That's the third one this year that froze in the headlights. <laughs> Taking them up to the mountains during hunting season. <laughs> and sending them out at midnight for goat's milk. That's not right. <laughs> Get the puss off your face. Would you like to be married so that you had your own family so you could do all this stuff for them now? Yeah, I guess so. I, I actually sent away for a mail order bride. <laughs> mail order bride? Yeah. But uh, when I had gotten her in the mail, she had been damaged. <laughs> so I had to send back the unused portion to get my full money back guarantee. <laughs> I'm really enjoying me. I don't know if you realize that. Yeah. You may as well do the song. <laughs> The song. You don't care. Oh, I don't care. Oh, I thought you meant my other popular numbers that I do. <laughs> yeah, I wrote a song. No, I'm, I can't get into it. Uh, but uh, funny, funny song. It's it's get that puss off your face. It's in the special, the upcoming. So in order yeah. to hear it, we have to see the special. You have to see the special. Yeah. All right. Okay. It'll be coming up. Mm -hmm. All right. Get that puss off your face on HBO. Kevin Meany, thanks for being here. Thanks, Paul. Don't go away. More on Thomas Only. Get that puss off your face. Yeah. Watch.